Yeah, definitely. It's it's a repositioning of um, players and assets to the organization. They're trying to build a a, um, a sustainable um, system. You know, they're trying to put a formula that's going to be sustainable for many years to come. Um, and it is a, I would call it a repositioning of real, reallocating the assets that we have um, and moving some players to try to um, allocate some players that are going to help us um, maybe late this year, next year, and the years to come. What do you want to kind of in, in this for the long haul? How do you feel about that? Um, how do I feel about it? I'm on board. I mean, I'm a New York man. I'm ready to... Um, to, to do whatever it takes. Um, with that being said, um, I've always been a guy that's extremely optimistic. I've been on teams that have a lot of good players and um, we haven't performed to our high standard. And then teams that no one really expected to be in a position where um, we could win. And now suddenly we sneak up and, you know, it, it, nowadays with the way the playoff system works, I believe in with. 83 to 87 wins, you can be in the playoffs, you know. Um, it's, yeah, you want to build teams at the, at the beginning of the year where the probability that it's a 90-win 90, 90 team to a 95-win team, that's a dream, but the, it doesn't really work out that, that way, you know. We, as players, have to put it, um, have to get it done uh, on the on the field. And it was, it was, like I said a couple of days ago, it's disappointing that we are in this position right now where we are, uh, I'm seeing teammates go. Um, but I'm looking forward to what the future is going to bring. Francisco, I know, you know, you, you look at it just two months ago and you probably think you can compete here. Realistically, how difficult is it going to be to compete with? It's going to be very difficult. It's going to be challenging. Um, but it's a challenge I take any day of the week. Um, I'm, we're ready to go out there, and um, with whatever we have, um, I'm, it's going to be a big league team. Um, we got to go out there and just compete and give it our best. And um, I signed up here to um, to be in a winning franchise, and they're trying to do whatever it takes to be a sustainable winning franchise. And I'm I'm on board. Given the expectations you guys have the last couple of years, how, how hard is it to wrap your mind around the idea of you know just trying to sneak into the playoffs even next year? I mean, we, what we had, you don't want to sneak up into the postseason. You kind of want to cruise into the postseason and then get going in the postseason. Um, do we still have a chance to sneak up in the, in the postseason? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Um, I'm still very optimistic for it. Um, it's going to be two, two months of very um, interesting moments and, and uh, a lot of challenge to come, but uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. What makes you trust the vision of Billy and Steve? I mean, when I come from an organization that developed players and brought them up um, and created a sustainable winning franchise, and we have the resources uh, on top to buy players, but when you create that formula of having successful players come up, develop, and help us win up here, and you have the resources, um, it, could, it could turn into something extremely fun. What would you like to see the team do this offseason, this upcoming offseason for agency? To make sure that our farm system, our players that, are gonna, that we are acquiring now and the ones that we had are getting developed the right way. Um, I would like to see... Um, uh, Whatever, them continue to do the effort to better the team, you know, not just stop and say, yeah, we're gonna have a an off season when we don't get nobody. Um, I want to to be an off season that, you know, they're still working to better the team. However, it's gonna be, we'll see, we'll see what, when that comes. Um, but uh, I just wanted to for them to continue to move forward. Um, and I think that's definitely what's going to happen. What's the message in the clubhouse the rest of the way through the season? Well, it, right now it's um, it's one of those periods where it happens in every clubhouse, happens every year, where it's a little difficult difficult to maneuver because you're waiting for that deadline to to be done uh, to be here. So we know, okay, this is what we have, and then after that, I'm sure we'll we'll get together, um, whether it's for a hitters meeting or Buck is gonna gather the group. Whatever it is, it's, it has to be um, something that this is what we have, and I'm looking forward to it.